Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been over a year since I've made a video. Uh, and yeah, I've just been busy with life, big life changes, career changes, uh, living changes, I'm living in a new place now. Yeah, a lot has happened over the past year and a half. Uh, I still have the BMW M3, so if you're here for the M3, rest assured you will see some m3 content here and there um, but really i wanted to bring back the channel on a more personal level on and it's honestly just for fun i know that pretty much well i know that a hundred percent of you are here for the car uh, and you want to know about what my car has on it what wheel specs i have on it I can do more videos on the exhaust again because uh, I get a lot of DMs on Instagram about my wheel setup, suspension, exhaust, everything like that. And so, I, of course, I am going to still make videos on stuff like that. Uh, but, like I said, I wanted to bring back the channel on a more personal level. Uh, just day-to-day -day stuff that I do, what I do for work, what I when I go to the gym, when I'm out uh, looking, hunting for pops things like that. It's just for fun. I've always loved making videos for years, even before I even had an M3. I would just go to Cars and Coffee and car shows and make videos and I loved editing them together with music and stuff like that. I'm by no means a, a Casey Neistat, Johnny Harris, amazing video editor. I literally do everything on my phone. I use iMovie, so that's not for a career, it's not for anything. It's literally just for fun. And uh, if you wanna stick around and watch the videos to pass the time, maybe be entertained for a bit, I'd greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you're only here for the M3, then you don't have to watch any of my other videos if they don't pertain to the M3. But I do wanna do stuff with the M3, even though there are very few mods left to do on the car, I still wanna make content on it. So if you wanna stick around and um, continue to describe, subscribe to my channel, then awesome, thank you. And if you're only gonna stick around to watch M3 content, thank you again, I don't mind. Uh, but today we are going to talk about what spec I have on my Apex EC7s. So if you look at the last video I ever uploaded ever, it was a video of me when I bought my E88s, which I still have, by the way. I still have those wheels. I don't plan on selling them at any point in time, but I just wanted to try something uh, different, which EC7s are not, they're extremely common on M3s, especially black ones but they're a wheel that I've always, always wanted uh, since the day that I bought my car when I had those comp wheels, those 359Ms. But for now, the Apexes look really good. I'll go over the exact spec, what spacers I have, the tires, all that stuff. Um, so let's go down to the garage and show you what I have right now. Stairs are dirty, but what can you do when you have carpeted stairs? There it is. Okay, so some context really quick of my living area. Garage is a little bit dirty, but basically I live on top of a business. So this is a fully operating business that I'm living on top of. There's people that are in an office back here. So I'll just show you that everything past that line over there belongs to the business, including that golf cart. So that is not mine. None of that stuff is mine, but uh, please excuse my extremely dirty garage setup right now. I've been working on the car and detailing it and doing stuff with it. Um, but basically this whole two car garage area is mine. I have both my cars here, all my tools that I need to work on them. The car sits low, but not crazy low. And we'll go I'm gonna pull the car out to run some errands and we'll film somewhere in the sunlight where you can kind of get a better look at it. Uh, but as you can see, my E88s are still right there. I still have those. And I have my EC7s in satin black. And I actually added a garage welt um, checkered banner. Oops, sorry. Um, but I added this garage welt checkered banner. I did it myself and it looks absolutely like shit when you go really close to it what i mean to say is the actual quality of the windshield banner wrap itself is amazing but i freaking suck at wrapping so it looks like shit how i did it on the edges 
but it looks freaking awesome from about five feet away. I was, uh, I've been wanting that banner for so, so long, ever since um, Narek made it, the owner of GarageWell. Uh, I've wanted it since then, uh, and I finally pulled the trigger and put it on there. Did it myself, uh, looks really horrible around the edges, but it was a fun learning experience. Uh, if I care enough, I would probably redo it or just have someone else do it for me. Now, I even picked up a little leather British Racing Green garage well little keychain. And just a reminder, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'm currently running Active Auto Works rear section. So that's gonna be from the X-Pipe back is the Active Auto Work Signature Gen 2 exhaust for the E92 M3. And then I have Active Auto Works test pipes for the Cat Dilly up front. Um, so the X-Pipe is stock. I do have plans in the future of upgrading that. You can see my stock exhaust is back there as a, as a towel hanger. <laughs> so I do want to convert, complete that stock exhaust back to stock and have that uh, separate. I have my full exhaust uh, on the car so I can swap them out as needed. go find some place to film parking lot or something where I can go around the car and show you everything I just parked behind one of these businesses so I can show you this the setup on the M3 the current specs for the EC7s hopefully security doesn't think I'm sus or anything but I have the M3 park right here perfect view there's a little bit of Sun but the spec that I currently have on the EC7 is wanted to add this edit halfway through the video, but it's actually 18 by 10 plus 25. So I apologize. I'm going to edit the rest of those clips with the proper sizing. I haven't looked at the specs on these wheels in literally almost half a year. So I apologize. 18s, of course, that's the best size for an E92 M3. We have 18. 10 and a half up front with a plus 25 offset and on the rears you have 18 by 11 with a plus 44 offset so it's a pretty uh, high offset but that obviously allows you to run a much wider wheel whereas my uh, um, previous sets of wheels were nine and a half front ten and a half rear these are 10 and a half front with 11 rears. Um, so this is kind of the, the normal setup. Most people will run this square stance on the entire car. Um, this is a little more uncommon. <clears throat> we got security here, so give me a second. All right, he was super chill. He didn't even tell me anything. He just drove by. <laughs> um, so here's a look on uh, the back of the fitment. Now, what I have up front is going to be 275s in the front, and I have a 5 millimeter spacer, which you can kind of see in there. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it to focus, but that little silver part right there is going to be the spacer, 5 millimeters. Um, and I didn't want to go too, too, too crazy because, guys, if you don't know, these are plastic and uh, they break very, very easily. They'll either break right here or they'll consistently break down here on the clips that attach it to the bumper. I've seen so many M3s with broken uh, fenders right there, just a small crack, uh, and let alone actually breaking the, the fender right here. So I think it looks great. 
I could probably squeeze a little more millimeters out of it, uh, but I don't track the car. I'm not looking for insane, insane fitment. I just really like how it looks. It fills it nicely. You can see it looks great. Um, and then on the back here, I'm running 295s. Oh, I'm sorry, 285s. Holy crap, this whole time I thought they were 95s, I'm mistaken. 285s in the rear, 285.35. Um, so I've seen, so let me first start off by saying, I bought these wheels complete as a set with the tires. The tires were brand new when I got this set. So the set was obviously, it was in okay condition. There's some scratching on the barrel on the rears. But overall, it's great. There's no crazy road uh, road rashes on the side, curb rash, anything like that. Um, so I went ahead and picked them up because of the new tires. So not my personal choice. I would have not picked these tires. They're good tires. Uh, they're Falcon FK 510s, pretty common tire. You see them on a lot of cars. Um, I would have wanted to go with a more R compound type of tire like I do have on my E88. But because they came with them and they're brand new, I figured why spend the money now when I could just use these tires up, have fun with them. Maybe I'll keep the wheels long enough to where I'll need new tires. Maybe I'll just sell them and I'll get a whole new setup. Um, but that's basically how it looks. Um, forgot to tell you the spacers back here. So I have a 12 millimeter spacer back here, which is the spacer is black. You can kind of see it in there a little bit. Uh, the spacers are by Motorsport Hardware and the studs and uh, locking nuts are also by Motorsport Hardware. Um, so yeah, that is the setup. Let's get some shots around the car so you can see. So yeah, definitely some gap to fill. It's not all the way out like you would see on my E88s. My E88s are 315 rears, so a lot wider than this. Obviously the wheel is smaller, but the tire fills in that gap on my E88s. Um, so. For now, I like it. I could uh, raise the car a little bit and space it out more so it doesn't make contact with the fender. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Especially in the front, it looks really, really good. It looks more aggressive than, it, than my E88s did, that's for sure. So we'll see, I might go wider in the rear, get some spacers, you know, there's, there's lots that I can do. But for now, um, those are the specs for my EC7s. I don't have any rubbing at all whatsoever. Uh, my suspension is pretty good. Even when I had, even when I run my 315s on the rear, I have absolutely no rubbing. Uh, and full disclosure, when I run my BBS is I do not use spacers at all. If I put them back on, I'll probably keep the spacers in the front just to push them out a little bit. But in the rear, uh, on my E88s with a 315, I, I do not run a spacer. And that's on a 10 and a half plus 20. So. Of course, there are a couple more things that I've done to the car in the last year and a half. Literally very minor things, but uh, I went ahead and got picked up a carbon fiber and performance high kick spoiler. It's kind of, I don't want to say big, but it's a lot taller than I thought it was going to be, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, it looks great. It really put, puts the car together with the carbon front lip. Um, I have this rear diffuser that I got for really, really cheap from one of my friends. The Fitment is okay, um, but it's better than that 
crusty one I used to have. Uh, but lately I've been kind of wanting to go with no rear diffuser. Uh, but for now, I, I'm going to leave that one as it is. And yeah, quick look at the interior. Seats are holding up nicely. There's a company called Clyde's Leather Bomb that makes re-dying bombs. So I'm going to re-dye this bolster right here. Oh, and interestingly enough, my car when I bought it never came with M3 floor mats. But I just so happen to be meeting up with another M3 owner today. And I'm actually going to pick up a set of floor mats from him. So let's head on over there and check those out. Oh my gosh, after a few hours of Southern California freeway traffic, I'm uh, finally back with the floor mats. They look pretty good. Uh, thank you, Alex, at, I'll put his Instagram right here. Alex Bernstein, thank you so much. These look great. I'm gonna get them vacuumed and a uh, little bit of carpet cleaning, but again, they don't need much. They look amazing compared to what I currently have, which is, like regular three, three series floor mats, which again, those just came with the car when I bought it. So, so yeah, one more step to completing everything on the M3 exactly to how I want it. And so if you watch the whole video, thank you so much. I'll try to put out more videos about random stuff that I'm doing, whether it's personal stuff, stuff with the M3, I do want to do an interior cleaning video on how I keep the interior clean, what I use on the leather, uh, and what kind of ceramic coat I use on the car because it is black paint. So just little things here and there, and hopefully videos with my friends, some of their cars. And so I'm really excited to get back into making these videos. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. That's where you're going to see most of my activity, stories, um, posts on this car, you know, reels, all that good stuff. Uh, so go ahead and follow me at sam.cff. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.